Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Welcome back to another week in a life as a black content creator. It's my birthday weekend, woo! Tomorrow's my birthday, officially. I am turning, how old, 28? Damn! And 28 ain't look so good. Skin is clearing up. I just have that birthday glow. I feel good, I feel young. I am so happy to be turning 28. I'm so happy to be getting older and God is blessing me to see multiple years. Cause a lot of people don't, aren't even able to make it to this age. And I am so blessed and honored to be able to see his works at this age and honestly i feel really good a lot of people are scared to like get older but i am welcoming older age because with age comes more wisdom and with more wisdom comes just not caring about what anything like not caring about what people have to say about you you are out here just living life being at peace and i feel like the younger you are the more of of like chaos you're in and the older i get the more at peace i become the more smarter i get and the more i just understand life a lot better so bring on the old age girl i am not afraid and i am living to the fullest oh baby it's like the world is on a side Alright, so I finished uploading some short form and long form videos, posted it, promoted it. I got a lot of new clothes that I'm going to be trying on, plus some more packages I need to open and try on as well for just to see what I need to wear for my trip. So let's do this. It's gonna be kind of cold, so yeah, we're just gonna do airport out first. Let's see this. Take me away, girl. washing machine because I did buy a jacket just like this and it shedded really bad and this one sheds as well so we're just gonna wash her first and then try her on after so I did buy my airplane outfit I wanted something super comfortable that I could wear literally on the airplane and on our date because we are gonna go horseback riding so I want to be make sure we are comfortable. So I have this little beige. I think this is warm because this might be my jacket for the whole trip that I'm going to be wearing. So it feels warm. It's not as thick as the other jacket, but it might do. And then this should be for our dinner date that same night. Try her on as well. Yeah, she's cute. All right, so this is gonna be outfit number one. All right, let me tell you something. 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 Let me tell you. I ate this outfit up. This is so. This is supposed to be my airport outfit slash because the moment we get the moment we land, we're gonna go out to eat go horseback riding and do a wine tasting so there's no like stops we're not going to the hotel straight after um so i have to have a very comfortable yet warm outfit but still styling stylish enough to take you know photos in and i think i did just that this outfit is so freaking cute so i got this hat from amazon oh i don't know if you can see with the glare but this hat's from Amazon, and of course you see me unbox this jacket and top from Pretty Little Things, and then I'm pairing it up with this Lululemon um, bag. So this bag is gonna be for when we're doing horseback riding, when we're wine tasting, so I'm gonna keep all my stuff in here. And then these pants I got from Cotton On a long time ago, and literally my only favorite pair of pants. And then these boots are from Amazon as well that matches the whole thing. So I'm going for a very much beige aesthetic. I'm very warm in this. So it is 
going to be the highest 58 degrees so I feel like this is going to keep me warm when I'm outside on the horses. Now we're going to do a night look that I might or might not wear just, just to see if we're tired. We might just you know call it a night that first night after the horseback riding because that's just a long day in itself but they do have a restaurant in um in the hotel and if they do i i'm gonna have an outfit for that so we're gonna try that on and then we're gonna do day number two not me eating up every single outfit i try on so this is supposed to be the first night we come in that night if we go out to eat for dinner but this outfit is so bomb that we're just gonna have to go out to eat for dinner because honey I did that okay so let's explain this outfit it's in the same color family so it's a whole beige outfit this top and skirt came together from pretty little things it has a nice little slit very comfortable I'm wearing the same exact coat that I wore for the um, airplane so killing two birds with one stone and then this purse is from Miss Lola so and but I also have a dupe of this from Amazon so yeah but i am gonna use this purse because it just matches and then these heels are from revolve so this whole outfit is very warm for me so i think i could be able to withstand the colder nights which is going to be like in the 40s and we're probably not going to be outside anyways but i just want to make sure that we are very very warm for this trip and this outfit just does exactly that so now we're going to move on to the second day all right, so this is the daytime outfit for the second day in Napa Valley. I'm wearing like a white dress that I got from Miss Lola. And then I'm wearing the same heels that I was gonna wear from last night. And then the same, of course, jacket because it is gonna be cold and this is long sleeve. So this is gonna keep me warm for sure. And then we're using the same exact purse for probably every night. <laughs> basically and this is the outfit i'm kind of nervous because i might be wearing this outfit all day well from like 12 to like eight o'clock at night i might if we don't go out i'm gonna bring an extra dress just in case and i'm gonna show you guys if not i might wear this all day but i don't know how i feel about wearing this all day because the events that we're doing are back to back so i'm gonna have to change in the car so I don't know if I should just wear this all day and not change in the car or just wear it or just change the car. I'll probably just change in the car. So I'm going to try on this other dress and then after that I need a airport outfit to leave and I should be good. So all right so this is if I change that outfit for the second day in the car. Um, I did have to do black um, accessories because my other beige outfits are too light of a beige and this one is a darker beige. I'm still going to wear my little trench coat because I refuse to bring a second trench coat for one night if I'm not, for one night that I might or might not even wear. So I'm not over packing clothes. So this is just going to be the outfit. I'm definitely taking this off in the train, so it's not really that big of a deal that it's not matching. And then I have some black like strappy heels, so this is what my train ride is gonna be. Of course, I'm gonna be doing, you know, accessories, like very big earrings, no necklaces on this trip. But just for the simple fact, I've been breaking out a lot and I refuse to like wear anything around my neck for a moment until like my acne clears up. It, it already cleared up, but I just don't want to wear necklaces this trip so I'm definitely doing big costume jewelry to accentuate the outfits that I'm going to be wearing so this is the second outfit for the second night and then I'm gonna do my airport outfit which is gonna be sweats so I think that's basically it good morning today's my birthday Um, I just finally got out of bed you and I am having a slow morning so I have a dinner party today it's later on tonight so what I'm thinking is I'm gonna do like a whole self-care spa routine because I was thinking to clean the whole house but honestly 
I'll just do it. I'll just do it next week, unfortunately. <laughs> I'm not gonna stress about it. Today's my birthday, so we not gonna work on my birthday. It don't matter. I'm already packed for my trip. All I need to do is pack hair and makeup, which I can't do until after my dinner party. So I'm going to make myself some breakfast, do all the self-care stuff that I need to do. Yeah, let's make some breakfast and let's just relax. Binge watch a season or something, you know? <laughs> Everybody. it is later on tonight i finally <laughs> installed a new wig i have my birthday dinner outfit on i got this top from miss lola and the pants is from meshki i'm doing like a short bob look for my birthday uh trip i just think it's like very classy it's napa valley so when i think of napa valley i think of like classy money um wine you know so very like sophisticated and i feel like a bob a layered bob is definitely like giving very much sophisticated and grown so we doing a short look for our birthday my friend is picking me up we are headed to this colombian restaurant oh i love colombian food so i'm so excited <laughs> Hey y'all, so we just got back from a amazing massage. Uh, Bay actually really, really enjoyed it. I think this is your second massage ever. He said this one was by far his best massage he ever had. So I guess the first one wasn't it. <laughs> but um, yeah, I had a hot rock massage. It was top tier. It was amazing. I loved, loved, loved it. I feel really good, really relaxed. And now it's time for me to do my makeup. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys, we went horseback riding yesterday. So when we landed, we went to, out to eat with, for some lobster rolls. Then we went horseback riding at a winery called Shady Brooks Estate. Let me tell you, 
great amazing service all around i learned how to ride a horse and i was actually really good at it shout out to leo that was the horse i was riding he was so sweet and it was just an amazing experience and then after the horseback riding we went straight into wine tasting and our server was amazing like he ended up sitting with us and we had a long conversation and we we're just talking about things like i feel like napa valley is very slow out here so every everyone we interacted with we actually had like a pretty good long conversation with them so it's very slow out here it's, di it's very different and from la because la everything's fast paced no one wants to talk to you at all it's just like hi bye here you go bye this is very relaxing and i appreciate my boyfriend just doing what he needs to do okay he loves me so much I love him so much I appreciate you babe <laughs> making a bir my birthday the best birthday ever this is by, by far one of the best birthdays I've ever had y'all it was my birthday, but I'm coming back at Beyonce. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Damaged. One man's trash is another man's baggage. Y'all girl of Beyonce. Slow you down, I ain't going nowhere. Space Diamonds dancing on the TNT going off in here. Ain't we up there? Cause you always wanna touch me My thorns will leave you bleeding That's why I'm always leaving Believe me Cause you always wanna touch me My thorns will leave you bleeding That's why I'm always leaving Believe me One more shot, one more round Pound for pound Promise I'll let you down Hey y'all, it is Sunday and First of all, yesterday was just life changing And I did not sleep at all I think I only got one hour of sleep When I woke, well, when we finally were getting ready to You know, go to the airport flight canceled I must have almost had a heart a panic attack but one thing's for sure Bay is going to figure it out and we did all the necessary steps so now we found another flight that's gonna be leaving instead of like us leaving at 3 o'clock we're leaving at like 8 30 and so we had to call a rental to see if we could turn in the rental later and they said yeah that's okay we called the hotel make sure or we hit up the hotel saying if we can have a late checkout they said cool okay but you gotta be out by 12 so we're gonna spend a day in san francisco because we've been in napa valley this whole time so we couldn't really look through San downtown San Francisco as we wanted to. Um, but now we have plenty of time to, and I can't wait because I want some clam chowder in a bread bowl. So that's what you need to be doing if every time you go to San Francisco, get clam chowder in a bread bowl. Guess what, y'all? I'm with my fiance. He ain't my man anymore. I am with AT. Good morning, you guys. We made it back. I wanted to sleep in. I kind of slept in a little bit. Um, like I said yesterday, I didn't sleep at all that whole night. I ended up sh shadow banning, or not really shadow banning, but I ended up banning myself off of Instagram because I was removing a bunch of followers. So I can't post anything for a week straight. 
because yo girl was just bored at night and I was like, you know what, let's just remove followers. So yeah, <laughs> y'all, so this whole week I can't really post or do anything on Instagram, which is fine. Um, I think I just need to spend this time to just clean up, prepare for the following month because this is the end of March and I just need to prep and finish any of the content I need to do um, for March, which thank God it's only on TikTok and YouTube. <laughs> Instagram is just like, you know, a f like a fun platform for me to, you know, express my creativity. But anyways, we are home and I just got up and I just realized I have so much to do and there's so many events that I'm going to this week as well. So I have to do exactly what I did last week, which is buckle down, work double time. I have to clean up this house unpack a bunch of stuff so i can prepare for this whole entire week because i need to install wigs i am still doing Reese wigs so i have to wash um and condition a bunch of wigs tomorrow as well as film some wig installs or wig preparation basically what i do is with all these wig deals i pack them together like say i got like four or five wig deals i customize all the wigs in one day so each week they're already ready for me to just install and i don't have to keep like you know customizing each and every week i just customize them maybe two twice out the month and then just wear them for the weekend when i go out and look good you know have a fresh install every time um but yeah so let's clean up and then i'll talk a little bit more about how i'm feeling if i have enough energy i just need to hurry up because i think my mom's coming over i need to pick up packages i have a meeting it's a lot going on so yeah let's clean up <laughs> by the way before i finish you know cleaning up thank you darius for the stabilizer he's basically saying that my vlogs are very shaky and i need to stabilize it so you're goddamn right brother <laughs> thank you i'm gonna try to figure this out so we can have more smoother content all right we're getting back to it <laughs> oh yeah this could all be over we're not okay shattered glass everywhere tears of rage okay y'all so i just finished cleaning up the house just got out the shower my mom's coming over there's a lot i need to do today's monday so technically this is the start of next week's vlog so i will end it here but overall this whole week my whole birthday weekend was just perfect like god lined everything up perfectly it's never according to our plan it's always according to his even my boyfriend was talking about it like everything was like you know some things had to change and some things wasn't like going to to his plan but god lined it up even better so i'm like so hype and it's so surreal that he proposed <laughs> Um, I can't wait to see the videos, the photos and all that. Um, this is more just like, it just happened on my birthday. So you guys are, you know, first to see it or just like, you know, the whole trip and what it was about. So I'm gonna end it here. Thank you guys so much for joining me for my birthday and my engagement, what? And um, I will, See you guys next week. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. And yeah, of course, I already told you. I'll see you next week. So, bye.